So based on current direction from the branch, it seems best that we implement the adjustment that we discussed. Here's one approach we could take. Since I'd never consider handling the situation this way. And when you look at the direction, to me, it could be interpreted a number of ways. We'll probably be right back here on his next visit, having to fix all this. Can I get your thoughts on something? Sure. The SEAL's direction. You've been serving for years. Does this approach make sense to you? Does this approach make sense to me? If I'm honest, no. In fact, I struggled with it through the whole meeting. That's why I just needed a moment to get my mind right. What do you mean by that? Well, I had to remind myself of something. And this scripture came to mind. Read verse 22. Look, to obey is better than a sacrifice, and to pay attention than the fat of rams. Okay, I get that. But maybe he hasn't thought it all through. Well, you know, we all give our thoughts on the matter. And ultimately, the circuit overseer gave direction based on what he got from the branch office. I just had to remind myself that it's not about me or what I think. In fact, I just need to be patient, obey the direction. The rest is up to Jehovah. Hmm. You're right. Thanks. Trust me, I needed that reminder from Jehovah just as much as you. I appreciate you sharing that with me. Sure. Isn't it fantastic that just in the brief span of time between exiting the meeting room and being confronted by a fellow elder regarding this inexplicable or contentious decision that's been made by the circuit overseer, the older of the two elders manages to correct his thinking so that he can quote scripture to a younger elder who's having the exact same issues with the direction. This is direction that doesn't make sense. What on earth are we supposed to do? Well, of course, there's only one thing you're supposed to do in this situation, whether you're an elder or an ordinary publisher, an ordinary rank-and-file Jehovah's Witness, and that's just do as you're told. You could be told to do something that doesn't make sense from a human standpoint, as the publications clearly say. And you just have to follow along with it because you don't get a say in the matter. It's not for you to have an opinion. It's not for you to disagree. You've just been told to do something and you need to follow through. And doesn't that sort of thinking get you to any number of awful outcomes. I mean, it it gets you straight to Jonestown. It gets you straight to drinking the Kool-Aid if you follow it to its fullest extent. Oh, here's something I want you to do. It might not make sense to you from a human standpoint, but I have authority here. You accept my authority. I'm telling you to do it, so you should do it. That's how culty this organization is becoming. And notice how just having an internal dialogue about this, even just questioning internally without voicing your disagreement, is described as being a flaw in someone's mind. Does this approach make sense to me? If I'm honest, no. In fact, I struggled with it through the whole meeting. That's why I just needed a moment to get my mind right. I needed a moment to get my mind right. So the problem was with him, it turns out, conveniently. <laughs> the organization can do no wrong. The circuit overseer can do no wrong. Their minds will always be right. The governing body's decisions will always be right. If there's any issue, if there's any controversy, if there's any difficulty 
in accepting direction, it must be a problem on the part of the recipient of the direction. You have to get your mind right as a Jehovah's Witness. You must obey without question. Thank you.